Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today to conclude my hashtag team project pan for 2019 before I start the 2021. So after this, I will be uh, filming the introduction of uh, the 2020 project pan. So uh, some items from this project pan will carry over to the next one. So I'll explain that a little bit more in the next video. Um, but right now we're just concluding the products that um, I've been using over the last uh, few months and the progress that I've made this month as well as a recap for the final year. So I've tallied up everything that I've used up um, and I can just give you a recap on how many items I've used up and what sort of categories they fall under, which is interesting. It's interesting to see how much you can um, use up personally and um, it can really help you sort of um, plan your per like your purchasing habits a bit better. So if you know you use up a lot of powders, you can you know, freely buy more powders and whatnot. So, so yeah, it's a sort of interesting way for me to uh, reflect on my makeup habits in the last year and what I've used up. So um, I will go over that after I've done the update and conclusion of this. Okay, so I did try really hard over the last month to get as many products used up as possible so I don't have to carry over to next year. Um, of course, if you're doing the 2019 project pan and then going to the 2021, you don't have to carry things over. You can make it completely fresh if you want to, but there are some items in here that I only introduced in the last couple of months and I do want to carry over. Um, there are two items that are on the fence about them being used up, um, but I'm going to consider them done because I think they'll be done in just a couple of days. And technically I'm filming this a little bit early because I have sort of, I want to start the new one ASAP. So uh, if I did film this in, I don't know, three or four days, that'd be done. So I thought I would include them in the empties anyway. So as per usual, I start with the products that I've used up since the last check-in. First one I used up was the Bora Bora hand cream from Glass House. So that is done, which is great. This is a huge one. So I'll put a photo on the screen of the lip scrub last month. This is just literally three and a half weeks ago. Um, and it is completely done now. So you might be saying, Kat, what the hell did you do? Did you eat it? What did you do? And the answer is no, I put it in the shower and you can tell I put it in the shower because there's actually water in between sort of where uh, that hole is. Like, you know how it's like a cup sitting in a container? Well, there's water in there and it's pretty gross. Um, but I use this in the shower, which was sort of like a really easy way to use it up because you can actually get a lot and sort of, you know, generously massage it into your lips and wash it off and you sort of remember to do that because every night I'm having a shower so I was using this pretty much every day so I used it up pretty quickly um, but the reason why it's not the most like effective way to use it is because lip scrubs are probably best to use before you put on a lip product um, not after you put on a lip product unless you're using it to help scrub off a lip product so anyway I use this in the shower purely to use it up um, and it's done and um if you wanna know what I think about these products that I've used up, I will feature them in an empties video coming up. So um, I won't talk to you about what I thought about them overall. I'll do that in the empties. Um, I did finish up my eyeshadow primer. This I think has been in my project pan all year. Um, it's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude eyeshadow primer um, and I can see through it now. There is, like I said last time, a tiny bit down the end, but it's not enough. Like it's hard to get to and I don't want to get to it that badly. And I did get as much as possible out. Like it is, you probably can't see, but if I had a like, hang on, wait. Hopefully you can see there that it's pretty much done. I did weigh this throughout the project, but I can't be bothered weighing it anymore. I'm just going to consider it done. Another thing that I finished up. Um, so this is the Bobbi Brown. It's like a lip uh, tinted lip balm. So it's the extra lip tint in the shade uh, Bare Nude. I really like, like this. Um, I even scraped into it, as you can see. So that is it completely wound up. And hopefully you'll see on the screen where I was up to last month. So I used this a lot. Only yesterday I finished up this mini Bare Minerals. Um, this is the Bare Pro Matte Lipstick in the shade Petal. Um, and as you can see, I didn't scrape into it like the last one, but this is completely wound up. Um, and to apply this, I'd need a lip pencil or like to scoop it out. Um, when I last applied this, which was only yesterday, it got to the point where the sort of um, rim was scraping on the lips and I couldn't get like a nice full um, application. So I consider that done. I used up my brow pencil. So this is from Billion Dollar Brows. Um, I used it up completely. It didn't fall out, nothing like that. It is right at the end. So that's completely twisted out. 
and there'll be a photo on the screen of where I was up to last time. And then the last thing I completely used up was the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. Um, as I said in my last video, I mainly use this as um, a foundation. And I'm not sure if you can see, I'll put the torch on again. I'm not sure if you can see, but that is pretty empty. The two products that I'm considering used up, but they're not technically yet used up. Um, I've got my body mist from Zoella. So you can see on the side there when I introduced it, it was right up to the top. Last month it was there. This month, look, I'll zoom in. So hopefully you can see the glass base goes up till there and I've only got a little bit left. So I've used up quite a lot this month and I think it's only got a few days to go. Now, last month I did talk about how this was getting difficult because um, not only is the sprayer like a shit spray, it's not like a nice mist, but also I noticed that it started smelling a little bit like sushi. Now, the funny thing about that is um, the day that I published that video and um, people were mentioning in the comments like how to use it and whatnot, I, um, Hayley came over to film and I asked her if she thought it smelled like sushi. And as soon as I mentioned it, she's like, yeah, it kind of does. It smells like it's gone off. So I was like, okay, I don't really want to use this on me too much if it's a, a fragrance that has gone off. Um, and it makes a lot of sense because I didn't notice the sushi smell uh, like six weeks ago. So it must have turned fairly quickly. Um, since then, I have mainly used this as a room spray. I've used it as a bin spray. Um, the problem with it as a room spray is because it's not a nice fine mist, you can just see the particles just drop to the floor, which I don't really like. But um, I have been trying to just use this up however I can. If I want a bit of a refreshing thing, I spray it. So yeah, I'm nearly done with it. And I'm going to consider that done because like I said, it's only got probably a couple of days of use to go. So um, I'm going to say it's done. The next thing that's nearly done is my powder. I only introduced this, I think, was it last month? I think it might've been last month. I actually had this on my list to carry over to next month, um, but I actually had to, I couldn't get the, the sifter out because um, it's like fused in there. So I spent a lot of time yesterday tapping all the product out and that's all there is in there. Now I used it today, so I used a bit of it, but I think that's probably about two days of use for me. So I would consider this done and I don't want to carry it over to my next project pan because by the time I sort of actually start using the products, this is pretty much going to be done. So uh, yeah, L'Oreal Infallible Magic Loose Powder, not completely done, but in a couple of days time it will be. So I'm going to put it on the done list. Onto the products that I've made some progress on. So I've got my Tony Moly body oil. Um, so I've been saying that I've been getting into body oils lately. I introduced this up here. Uh, and it's down there. So I've still got a little while to go, um, but I'm gonna continue this in my 2020 project pan. Another product that I'm gonna continue is my, uh, this is my Smashbox Photo Finish Serene Greens Primer Water. So I've been using this as like a finishing spray, sometimes as like a primer spray. And um, I was up to here when I introduced it last month and it's down to there. So I think about a month and a half, two months, I will have this done. So not quite finished, but I'm carrying it over. I've taken a little bit of a break from reviewing eyeshadows over the Christmas break. So I've been trying to use as much of my NARS um, eyeshadow duo as much as possible. This has been in my project pan since January. Um, and I will have a photo on the screen, but I have made the pans bigger. Now, um, I did say that I sort of wanted to use up this and hit pan on that. Um, I don't consider this completely done because um, I have hit some good pan on it, but I haven't finished the product. So even though uh, my goal was mainly to hit pan and I've done that, um, I don't consider this as like a done product. So I'm going to take it out of my project pan. I'm on the fence about whether or not I'm going to declutter this because it is quite old. Um, and the color story I don't like throughout the year. I mainly like it in winter. So this might be something that I declutter, but I'll hold on to it for a little while just to see. But my goal was to use as much as I can. And if I don't use it up, I'm going to get rid of it. So I should stick to that. I should stick to that. But that's the progress on that. For my highlighter, this is another thing I'm probably going to carry over to the 2021. I will show you. So hopefully you'll see, um, hopefully there's progress that you can see compared to last month. It's probably taken this way around. I don't know but there's quite a large dent in there. 
and getting a dent in there. So I have been using this a lot recently and I'm gonna carry this over to the next project pan as well because I am determined to hit pan on it. I think the only other product that I've seen some decent progress on is probably this one. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores. So I'll weigh this. So last check-in that was at 31.19 grams and now it's at 27.32 grams. So still got a bit to go, but once again, I'll probably carry this over because I'm getting along with it fine. So may as well. All right, I don't know if these products you can see a visible difference, but let's run through them really quickly. Firstly is my Marc Jacobs bronzer. So this is the Tantastic bronzer um, and I'll have a photo on the screen. This one, um, the pattern on the middle area has gone and I'm starting to see a bit of a dent. So can you see on the side, if I hold it there, there's a bit of a dent in there. So I am seeing a little bit of progress, but it's not, it's not heaps. And that's just a close up of it. I, I don't know, it's a big bronzer, it's a big bronzer. Then I've got my blush that I've been using a lot. This one, again, I've got no dent in it, but um, there's a lot of, um, uneven texture on the surface. So I have worn down the surface quite a lot. So hopefully you can see compared to last month, I'm not sure if there's visible progress. These I'm actually gonna take out because um, I mainly wanted to use them to use them a little bit more. Um, and I have been using them more and I do enjoy them. So good, that's great. But I do wanna introduce a couple of different things in the project uh, for 2020. Last month, I added in this illuminating product from Longcom. So it's like a liquid, you can use it as a primer, you can use it with your foundation. And um, I was up down to there, because it's very liquidy, so it settles really well. And now it's just a little bit lower. So I have used this a little bit, but you can't use too much of it. And also because it's a white product, um, I found that it really lightens your foundation. So I can't use this too much. Otherwise it really changes the color of my foundation. So this is what I'm gonna continue into the next project pan. Three products I'm taking out of my project pan and realistically I've made no progress to report. Uh, one is my Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine um, sort of product. So this is a hair shine spray and I'm not gonna get rid of this entirely. I'm not gonna declutter it. It's just a product that I don't use very frequently. And you can see that I started slowing down progress and I don't think I've used it in the last month. So I'm gonna take that out uh, of the project. That was a bit of a fail. The CND Rescue Daily Keratin Treatment, I'm gonna take out as well. Um, I find this really hard to use because I'll use it on days where I'm not wearing nail polish, but I might not use nail polish for maybe a week or something here and there, but most of the time I'm wearing something. So I find that really difficult to use. It's been in my project almost from the start and there's still a little bit left. I think I've nearly finished it, but I'm gonna take it out. Another thing I'm taking out is a Shiramira light bulb foundation. So you could see that I was making some progress down the side. Um, so where I introduced it right up the top um, to where it is sort of now. Um, but I am gonna take this out purely because I mainly use this as a mixing foundation. So this is too light for me and it works really well mixing it with other foundations. Um, but right now, because it's summer um, and I wear a bit of bronzer and whatnot, I'm not actually lightening my foundations. So I'm gonna take this out and keep it for winter. Another product that I've seen no progress on, I haven't used this since my last check-in. I was talking about how I was having issues with this by Terry eyeliner and how it's sort of gone bad and turned sort of soft, but like not soft and creamy in a good way, sort of just breaks and crumbles and is weird. Um, so I haven't used this since the last check-in and I am gonna throw this out um, after this video. I did add in a new liquid liner last month and um, I was like, I'm gonna just see how much use I can get out of it this month and then I'm gonna throw it out at the end of the year. I've actually been using it and really enjoying it. It's a really nice liner. So this is by Shuramira and it's the Deep Purple Water Paint Ink Liner. I do find that once I get to the second eye and I'm nearly finishing it, it starts to dry out a little bit. So I don't feel like there's too much to go, but I'm gonna carry this over because I really do enjoy it. Another one that I added in last month and I'm gonna carry over again is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So this mascara again, I've had it open for a while and I thought, look, I'll see how I go, use as much as I can in the last month of the year and then get rid of it, but it's still going strong. Like there's still a lot of product in there. So I'm gonna continue it. I did weigh this, I believe, so I'll weigh, I'll weigh it again. Interesting, so when I introduced this last month, it was 22.24 grams. Now it's at 20.98 grams. Now the reason why I'm using this up pretty fast 
um, and I've discussed, I've discussed this before, is that the wand is generally really chock-a-block full of product. So you have to scrape it off like onto a tissue or the back of your hand. You can scrape it off into the tube, but I often find it doesn't get enough off. Um, so this is one of those products that I just feel like you get a really good effect, but it, you can waste a lot of product trying to get off the excess. Um, but that's why this is going down <laughs> really quick for a mascara. Last product, and I'm debating on whether or not what I do with this and if I call it done, I'm not too sure. Uh, it's a 3D brow tones, uh, brow sort of, I don't know, tinted product from Benefit. Now I will weigh this because that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to use it quite a bit this month. There were parts, there were times where I was applying it and it was quite dry and wasn't applying much product. I'm like, yes, it's done. But then I tried to tap some out and I'm like, oh no, there's some still in there. So I think after this, I'm not gonna consider it done as a product that I finished, but I'm going to throw it out along with the liner because I just don't really like using it. And I wanna introduce something that's a little bit better in the next project pan. But last time that was at 18.57 grams and now it's at 18.25. So I have used a little bit of it, which is good. So that is the finished status. A few that I'm carrying over, a bunch that I finished this month, um, a couple that I'll be finishing in a couple of days and some that I'm gonna declutter after this. But I can tell you that after this whole year's project pan, I've used up, get a load of this, 60 products, which is crazy it's a lot of products i did break it down in categories so i used up three primers i used up four foundations five concealers including the it cosmetics one that i was using as a foundation but it's technically a concealer i've used up six powders that's crazy four finishing sprays three bronzers two highlighters now with that one I considered, I had a stick highlighter that I used up completely and then I hit pan on um, my MAC uh, Soft and Gentle. So did I use it up? Not entirely, but I sort of used it to this extent that I wanted to in this project pan. So I considered it used up, but I didn't actually use it up. So yeah, if you take that out, it's 59 and one highlighter, but whatever. Uh, I didn't use up any blushes. I used up one eyeshadow primer. I also used up three eyeshadows. Now this is a funny one because I used up two mini caviar sticks from Laura Mercier and I used up a mini uh, Stila Magnificent Metal. So they're not actually technically like pressed eyeshadows. I didn't include the NARS thing in this. So, you know, if you do want to include the NARS one as almost done, you can put that in here. Um, I used up no mascaras. Um, I did actually use up mascaras in my day-to-day -day life, but not include not as part of this project pan. Uh, I used up three brow pencils, which is a lot. I used up two lip balms, uh, four lip glosses or tints, um, three lipsticks. Uh, I think a couple of those were minis. I used up one lip scrub, eight skincare items, so that's body and face care. Um, I used up four perfumes, including the um, Zoella one. And I used up one hair item, which was a leave-in conditioner. Out of all the products in my project pan, I took out 17. So I had 17 items in my project pan that I used, like for example, this blush. And then I took it out because I no longer included it in the project pan. And then there is a bunch that I'm carrying over to next year. So, so I think 60 items is a really good amount of products to use up. The biggest category was base products. So foundations, um, primers, setting sprays, like stuff like that, I used up the most. Um, and I like this is also alongside my normal use of products. So if you follow my empty series, you'll know that I have been using consistently at least a dozen products every six to eight weeks, I guess. So um, I've used up quite a lot of products this year, but it's really nice to be able to target products and see the sort of progress and see the results and know that um, when you've got makeup coming in, you've also got makeup going out and you're getting use of what you've uh, already got in your collection. All right, so I'm gonna make a move so I can start filming my 2020 intro, which will be up next. Um, I'd love to know if you did a project pan and how you went with it. Um, and if you are thinking of starting one for 2020, I will leave an introduction video down below. Hayley and I sort of run through um, what the 2020 project pan is, sort of the spreadsheet you can download, how it works. Um, and I'll see you guys in the intro for the next one. Bye.